Hello, I'm Karina Boxnick. I'm your State 4-H Camping Coordinator. Welcome back to our outdoor cooking series. This time around, we're gonna talk about some of the tools and equipment you might need to be able to do some outdoor cooking. Um, depending on what you're cooking will depend on the tools that you need. So I'm gonna show you a variety and you can pick and choose what you think you need based on the meals that you're gonna fix. So if you'll look up here, I've got a Dutch oven. I like to have a variety of sizes. Um, I've also got a cast iron skillet with a lid. Keep in mind, or something you may not know, is on the skillets, the lids are sold separately. So if you don't think you're gonna need a lid, then you don't need to buy one. I like to have a variety of size buckets. I do like them with a handle. Um, that way I can hang it if I need to. I also keep some of these pie pans in here and we'll get into why I use these in a later video when we talk about what I cook in these in particular. Um, keep in mind, once you've started cooking in these, these are gonna be hot. So you're gonna need a way to handle these without burning your hands. I do like to have some leather gloves. These happen to be some cheap welding gloves, which work great. They can withstand that heat really well. I also have several different tools here to be lid lifters. Um, this is pretty standard, pretty basic. It just hooks over the lid and you pick straight up. This is a little bit fancier lid lifter. What it does is it hooks and helps hold that lid steady so that when you have the Dutch oven lid full of coals, that way you can pick it up straight without dumping coals into whatever it is you're cooking. And another tool that works great as well is fencing pliers. Um, they do get a little warm because you're closer to that fire and that heat. But you just reach around the lid and grab it and you can pick it up off your Dutch oven or your skillet. You're also gonna need utensils to cook with. Um, metal, silicone work better than plastic just because that plastic is gonna get hot and can potentially melt. These still work good if you're dipping stuff out like soup, stews, um, or using it to serve with versus actually cooking with. So let's take a step over here and some things that actually go on your fire. We have a rack set up with some different size hooks. These racks work great. You don't have to have them. This one is homemade. But this gives you some versatility in what you can hang and put over, over your fire. We also have a grill grate, which works great for cooking meat or if you're using your cast iron skillet so you can slide it into the fire without having to hold it or balance it on some wood. We also have a shovel. This is a small gardening size shovel. Um, it's got a small blade on it. Works great for moving your sticks and stuff around, but also dipping out the coals to put under or on top of your Dutch ovens. So stay tuned for future videos and we will get into cooking a variety of meals. Thank you.